LFCS parents, there's only a few more of these Thursday thoughts left in the school year because we're already in the month of May. And even though we've only got a few weeks left, we've still got a lot of stuff going on, including next week. So I'm going to focus today primarily on next week because it's a very important week for us here at Fairfield Christian School on a lot of different levels. First of all, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, we're going to have some visitors on campus. As you know, we are dual accredited here at Fairfield Christian School. We have a secular accreditation and a religious accreditation. Our secular accreditation is through WASC, or the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, and our religious accreditation is through the Association of Christian Teachers and Schools, or ACTS. And so we're going to have members of each of those organizations on our campus. They're going to be uh, meeting with me and our other administrative staff, and meeting with teachers, with students, with parents, with board members. They're going to be observing classrooms. Uh, they're going to be here for those three days and doing a lot of work. They're also going to be comparing what they see in here to our self-study, which we have spent the last several years uh, compiling and developing and writing. And they're going to make sure that basically we're doing what we say we're doing. And that's really the purpose of accreditation. I know uh, as parents, you guys might have one idea of what accreditation is about. And it's a lot of, I ask parents all the time, do you know what accreditation really is? And they have, they think it has something to do with college and things like that. And that's one part of accreditation. But really the process of accreditation is improvement. Schools go through the process so they can figure out uh, what are we doing well and the areas where we might need some help or we might need to improve. So at our last accreditation visit, which was six years ago, uh, we came up with an action plan. And so we took a look at what the accreditation committee suggested. We took a look at our action plan. And over the last six years, we've been implementing those things in that action plan. So this year, as a part of our self-study, we also had to come up with an action plan and we'll be incorporating that action plan along with the recommendations from the visiting committee and we'll kind of move forward. So next week's gonna be a very busy week. Uh, meeting, I've got a lot of meetings all week long. Uh, they take a look at all aspects of our school. Everything, not just the classroom and academics and the teachers and uh, classroom management and those sorts of things, but they look at our filing system. They look at our finances. They, take a look, they look at every aspect of our school to see how we might be able to improve and become an even better school. And that's in the spirit of what we want to do anyway. Uh, we talk to kids about this all the time, that we should always be in a state of improvement. And we don't just tell that to students, we walk the walk as well. We want to be in a state of improvement, and this process is going to allow us to do that. But it does mean a very busy and sometimes stressful week for us next week. Uh, we are putting them up with hotels here, and they're going to be with us all day for those three days. And all three of these individuals are coming from different areas. Uh, one of the committee members is coming from San Jose, another one from the Midwest, another one from Florida. So they're coming from all over the country to come take a look at our school and accredit our school. And we're familiar with the process. We've not only been through accreditation before, but both myself and Mrs. Ford have been on accreditation visits to other schools to help accredit those schools. So uh, we know what the process involves. We know what they're going to be looking for when they come. And we feel our school uh, is in a pretty good place. Obviously, we do want to know where we can improve and how we can get better, but at the same time, uh, while we do have areas where we can improve, we know we're, there are other areas that we do very well. And uh, so we're looking forward to having them visit, sharing what we do here at Fairfield Christian School with that visiting committee. The other important aspect of next week is our 10th anniversary carnival coming up on May 10th. That's next Friday. We are so excited about this. Uh, but again, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it and uh, it's going to be an incredibly busy day. For you as parents, there are a few things we need you guys to make sure you're aware of. First of all, not only are we having the carnival at 1837 Blossom Avenue, that's uh, the Celebration Church and Real Life Church campus, which is about a mile from our campus here. We're having the carnival over there that evening, but we're also having school that day over at that campus at 1837 Blossom Avenue, which means you as parents will be dropping your kids off at that location in the morning at 820, and you'll be picking them up picking them up at that location at noon. Again, that's 1837 Blossom Avenue. That's the campus of Celebration Church and Real Life Church. Uh, and so school will be done over there. We will have extended care both before and after school. So if you normally partake in extended care, uh, Mr. Alvarez will be over there both before and after school on Friday. Uh, so just be aware of that. But uh, that afternoon, we're also spending a lot of time doing our setup for the carnival. Uh, so it's gonna be a, a very busy day, but from 5.30 to 7.30 that evening, again, over at that campus on 1837 Blossom Avenue, we'll be having our 10th anniversary carnival. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All the homerooms have their own booth. We've got a lot of different games and activities. You guys will buy tickets, and then you use those tickets 
to interact with all those activities. We'll have a, a couple of free events going on throughout the evening as well. And there's going to be a bouncy house out there. We'll have food and entertainment out there. Uh, some students will be performing. 6.30, those student performances will begin. And we've also got raffle items out there as well, so you can buy tickets for those raffle items. Some really good items. Uh, we've had a lot of donations from, not only from within our city, but from around the area as well. I know the Golden State Warriors donated some things. I think we might be waiting on some things from the Oakland A's as well. So we've got some fantastic stuff that we'll have out there for raffles that you guys can buy raffle tickets for, and uh, hopefully you guys win some great prizes. And we're doing all this is not only to celebrate our 10th year anniversary, but uh, also as a celebration, but also as a fundraiser. That's so we can raise a few funds for some of our extracurricular activities and the things we do here on campus uh, between our uh, fine arts, between our sports, between our STEM programs. Uh, we want to expand the things we're doing. So this fundraiser will help, really help uh, give us a kickstart in terms of a lot of those things we want to do here at Fairfield Christian School. So that makes for a very, very busy week. And it's already been a busy few weeks. Over the last few weeks, we had our senior trip was on Tuesday. We had our theater production on Wednesday night, which was fantastic. The kids did a great job Wednesday night. Uh, but those things are out of the way. Thank goodness, a few more things checked off the box. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up. And of course, we've got finals coming up. We've got graduations coming up. And then finally, we hit summer. But uh, this is a very busy time of year. So with that, sometimes things fall through the cracks. If you guys have any questions about anything, please make sure to contact us here at the school in the office. Uh, and we will try to get all those answers for you. You'll be getting a lot of communications from us, especially in emails over the next few weeks. So make sure you check your emails. If you don't see the, a lot of emails coming from us, it may be that some of those emails are going to your spam folder. I know sometimes we send out uh, the mass uh, email blasts. Uh, sometimes uh, some inboxes can view that as spam. So make sure you're checking your spam folders. And make sure our important emails are not being kicked there because we've got a lot of information over the next few weeks that we want you guys to know and we don't want you to miss it. So again, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, busy days here on campus. Visiting committees from both Wask and Axe will be here observing the school. And then next Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 in the evening is our 10th anniversary carnival. In the morning, we're having school over there at the 1837 Blossom Avenue campus. So a lot of things to kind of keep track of over the next few weeks, but they're all gonna be fantastic. So again, if you have any questions, contact us. We'll get you straight on all the information you need. And of course, check the website and again, check your emails. All right, I'm gonna go take a quick nap because man, it has been a busy day and it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow and a busy day next week and probably pretty busy for the rest of the school year. Uh, and then when summer hits, I'll be able to take a, a nap for a few weeks. But we're excited about everything going on. God is doing great things here on our campus. He's opening up doors. He's giving us opportunities. Um, just a lot of things going on right now behind the scenes that we'll be able to tell you guys more about uh, as the weeks and months uh, come towards us. But we've got a lot of things in the work because God has set us up very, very well. It's always exciting when you see God respond to prayer. We've had a lot of prayer requests, not just this year, but over the course of several years about things we want to do here on campus, programs we want to offer, um, ways that we want to expand, uh, and God is faithful. And it's not always in our timing. It doesn't happen when necessarily we want to, but God has a reason sometimes, and sometimes we know the reason, sometimes we don't. But God is definitely setting some things up for us to give us even more success and more blessing as we move forward. So again, as those things come to fruition, we'll be sharing those things with you. But it's an exciting time here at Fairfield Christian School. The end of the school year is always an exciting time. We are wrapping things up, uh, but it also, we're already knee deep in next school year and planning for all of that. So uh, it's a continuous cycle, uh, just like life is, tends to be a continuous cycle. Same thing here on Fairfield Christian School campus. And I can't wait to not only enjoy the accomplishments of this year, but get started on the accomplishments for all these students for next year as well. All right, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, hopefully I see you guys real soon at all the various things we've got going on uh, here on campus. Have a great week. God bless.